Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so I am making some spaghetti today. So let me show you how I make my spaghetti. In my pot, I have some a pound of lean ground beef and one of these flavor cubes, an Italian flavor cube. I've used them several times before and I really like them a lot. To that, I am going to add some bell pepper. This is some frozen bell pepper that I have in my freezer. It's chopped. And then in my fridge, I had about half of a large red onion. So I've never put red onion in my spaghetti sauce before, but trying to use what I've got. So I'm just gonna add that in. And then I'm just gonna let this cook down a little bit and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so my onions and bell pepper have cooked down. Now I'm just going to add in my um, spaghetti sauce, so, or pasta sauce, I should say. So I've got that one in. And then I have another jar here that was in my fridge. I had just about that much left, so not much. I wanted to go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna put some water in here and swish it around and get all the extras out. And then I love a chunky spaghetti sauce, so I am adding in a can of diced tomatoes and it has basil, garlic, and oregano. And then as far as my seasonings are concerned, I'm just gonna add some Italian seasoning. some garlic powder and some onion powder. I'm not gonna add any additional salt because we're trying to watch our salt intake. So I'm gonna add that in, give it a good stir, and then I'm just gonna let this simmer down. Okay, so here is the spaghetti and meat sauce. I let this simmer for about two hours and then I'm just serving it with some garlic bread and this is the garlic bread that I picked up from HEB. I, it's a store brand. Um, HEB is a tex is a store here in Texas, and I threw away the box already to make room in my freezer. But it's just a like a five cheese garlic bread. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm trying out something I saw on Facebook. There's really no recipe per se. You just throw a bunch of stuff together, put it in a foil package and throw it in the grill or in the oven, on the grill or in the oven. We're gonna grill ours. So I have two bowls here because Howard and I like our food seasoned differently, but we both have some shrimp. And now I'm gonna get all the rest of the ingredients together. Uh, I'm gonna chop up some potatoes, some sausage, onion, Howard's gonna use a habanero pepper, and then I'm gonna use some frozen corn. I'm gonna use some melted butter once we have all the ingredients in each bowl. And then for me, I'm going to season mine with this Uncle Chris's. I love the steak seasoning. I'll probably use some onion powder and garlic powder. Howard's gonna use some Creole seasoning, and he's also going to use some smoked paprika. So let me get started. Okay, so Howard just pulled our food off of the grill. It ended up um, being on the grill for about 45 minutes. So this is Howard's. Um, as you can see, his has the spices in it and paprika and all that good stuff. And then this is mine right here. With it, I am serving some rice pilaf. This is from Trader Joe's. This is my second time making it and we both really like it a lot. This is what it looks like cooked up. And then for dessert, I decided to make a blueberry crisp. I had some blueberry pie filling in my pantry. And so I also had this crisp in my pantry too. So I decided to go ahead and cook that up. We've got some ice cream in the fridge to have it with. And I also had a few fresh blueberries in the, in the um, fridge that I needed to use. So I just threw those into the apple pie filling, but I'm sorry, the blueberry pie filling. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. 
Hey, I decided to pop back in really quickly to show you what it looks like when we have everything on the plate. So this is Howard's right here. This is what it looks like. And then this is my plate. Hey guys, so Howard made dinner for us tonight and he loves soup and I've grown to love it since I've known him. He made it in a big old crock pot and this is what he used to flavor the soup. This is Grace Soup Mix and this is something that he, um, the brand is something that he is familiar with having grown up in Jamaica. So we've got some smoked turkey um, pieces in here and then he added some potatoes some leeks and then I had some chicken stock um, from when I cooked some chicken earlier and and froze it so I had chicken stock and he also added a couple of scotch bonnet peppers and I think that's it um, but it is really good so flavorful so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having King Ranch Macaroni and Cheese and here it is. I did record a video that will be out on Thursday showing how I made it and I am serving some broccoli with it. We had some leftover broccoli in our fridge that we needed to use and some Texas toast and this is a Texas toast that I'm using from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so Howard went and picked up Chinese food for us tonight. He got the double cooked pork, and then I got the golden garlic beef, and this is my first time getting this. I usually get Mongolian beef, but I wanted to try something different. We both got steamed rice to go with it. And then we got, um, let's see, these are beef onion dumplings and I got these pan fried. And then Howard got their house signature bun and they are steamed. And then we got a couple of um, dipping sauces to go with the bun and the dumplings. And I don't know if I mentioned we both got steamed rice, so. Anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.